Welcome brother, I'm JK Maz, founder and head coach at Porn Reboot. Now, a couple of days ago, while responding to some emails from married men who were struggling to quit pornography, I discovered a common theme. If you are a married man who is unable to control his behavior with porn and masturbation, you likely feel that you have some sort of virtue, some sort of redeeming quality which actually justifies your behavior. Now in my porn addict days, my go-to was at least I'm not doing drugs, you know, I'm not getting high, I'm not hooked on heroin, it's just pornography, it could be worse. But for you, it may be some variation of something like, you know what, at least I still provide for my family, you know, I'm still working, I'm not out there not working or losing my job, or I'm always there for the kids, or, you know, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. But the one justification that I'd really like to talk about today is actually a particularly dangerous one. And that justification is when you say to yourself, at least I don't cheat on my wife or my girlfriend. Now don't get me wrong, lots of porn addicts have sex with women outside the confines of their marriage or their boundaries of their relationship. In fact, many men who were stepping out on their partners now find it especially challenging to do so because of all the restrictions imposed by you know, the effect of the pandemic. But men in a committed relationship who watch pornography and never actually have sex with other women, in my professional experience, end up experiencing more pain as their behavior progresses. The emails, messages, and coaching calls with men in this category have a very predictable plot. Unfortunately, men in this category absolutely refuse to accept the possibility of the consequences I will describe in this video until it's too late. So allow me to break down why the I don't cheat on my wife or partner excuse is the most dangerous one of all. Firstly, it shows that you place your sexual commitments to your wife or your partner above all other commitments, right? You actually elevate its importance to such a high level that lying, spending time with pornography instead of her, wasting money via underperforming at your career, and loss of attraction to her due to your conditioning to pornography are actually justified as lesser evils. The interesting thing is that it isn't your love, partnership, caring, or interest in your partner that is held as a strong virtue. It's actually your sexual commitment to her. So this raises the question, why is sexual commitment to your partner more important than anything else, right? Perhaps it's societal and religious conditioning. Maybe it's the fear of thinking that she'll leave you if she finds out that you've been having sex with other women, right? Or viewing pornography or whatever the case may be. Or you can't bear the thought of hurting her. Whatever the reason might be, one thing is certain. Married or attached men who carry this belief suffer more than other men for a few reasons that I have observed. The first is that in many cases, your wife or girlfriend will end the relationship. Over 80% of divorces are initiated by the female spouse. Here's a fact for you. In nature, it's the female in the species who determines how long a relationship or pair bonding lasts, not the man. The second is that there is a high chance that when your wife or girlfriend finds out, she will treat your behavior with pornography as infidelity anyway, even if she was previously cool with you watching pornography. As it becomes apparent that you have a problem, you'll be treated as if you were having sex with multiple women. This is simply her way of emotionally processing your problem. Since she doesn't understand that you just can't stop, she'll come to the conclusion that you obviously crave sex with other women. And the third is that, during those years of using the I didn't cheat on you excuse, you built up a serious collection of deal-breaking relationship traits, things like lying, shame, anger, secrecy, and parts of your life which did not require secrecy, manipulation and gaslighting, and that's where you manipulate your partner into thinking she's overreacting or crazy. So if and when your relationship, or rather if or when your relationship ends, all that's left is you and all these unhealthy traits that you never prioritize taking care of. The fourth thing is that in modern society, particularly in Western countries, many women will not simply leave a relationship until they find another secure one. 
This means that she will stay married or with you, but separated until she finds someone else to be with. In blood terms, she'll start having sex with someone else while you are both still in a relationship. Now, if at this point you're thinking like this can't or this won't happen to you, that's fine. Visit our free Facebook group. There's a link to it in the description below the video. There are dozens of painful stories and solutions, of course, from men whose wives and partners ended up having affairs shortly after they found out about their husband's porn addiction. These men were usually clueless to it. Sometimes it's a woman's way of coping with the pain and just, you know, getting even. It's her way of saying, I'll make you feel how I feel. Unfortunately, in most cases, it works just a little too well. See, for the man who held the at least I never cheated on her excuse as a virtue, the pain of her action is absolutely devastating. See, all those years of patting yourself on the back, telling yourself that you weren't hurting her, you saw thinking of all the opportunities that you had to cheat but you instead chose to watch porn and masturbate because you were a good husband or a good boyfriend, you start to think, oh my God, all of that was for nothing. She fucked someone else. Your porn warped mind can't help but replay a hundred different ways that it must have happened. And it breaks your heart to think that your wife, your woman is having sex with someone else. But it doesn't end there. See, she's a woman, right? She's got 99 problems, but finding a willing dick isn't one of them. In your case, however, Mr. At least I didn't cheat on my wife, you may find that this isn't quite the case. Not only have you been out of the dating game for a while, but you're also a porn addict, okay? You're a porn addict who just torpedoed his relationship and found out that his partner is having sex with other men because as far as she's concerned, you're done. In addition to that, you're struggling with PIED, porn-induced erectile dysfunction. You've lost your confidence because you no longer have the support of a relationship. You've spent years in isolation and fantasy. Your only non-work-related interaction with women is ogling them in public or masturbating with them on chat sites. You have no idea how to deal with the pain, so you dive deeper into your addiction. I'm just gonna stop here, okay, because this is painful for me to talk about. There are men out there going through this right now. And if you're one of those men, I want you to know that regardless of how your relationship turns out, one thing is certain. You must end your compulsive behavior with pornography and masturbation in order to experience true happiness and contentment in your relationship. Losing a relationship to pornography hurts. Having a partner have sex with another man is frustratingly painful. But I want you to know that if you're already in that situation, you will move on from it. You will heal and you will be happy again. Just remember that whatever we perceive to be our strongest virtue does not excuse our selfish behavior. I'm JK, your brother in the struggle. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you find these videos helpful, support our channel by subscribing, by sharing this with other brothers whom you feel might benefit from it. If you're in another forum, if you visit a church, if you work with a youth group, if you have a counselor or an addiction recovery group, where you feel that they, they might benefit from some of the concepts here, don't hesitate to bring up our channel, Porn Reboot, JK and AZ, and we'll be happy to help them, to talk to them, to speak, to send them free material. And speaking of free resources, there are a couple of ways that we can help you for free to end your out-of-control behavior. The first way is to download a free copy of my ebook. There is a link to it just in the description right here below this YouTube video. And it's a very short ebook, brother. It's the roadmap, the guide to ending your out of control behavior. And you can hear from my clients who have been off pornography from two to almost eight years now. We have clients who've been off porn that long. You can learn what exactly they did. So there's a copy to download the book called Confessions of a Porn Addict, Seven Secrets of Porn Free Men. And the second way is you can watch one of my free video trainings, which is actually an extended version of the book where I dive into detail live and talk to men about all the different things that you can do to end your out of control behavior. So if you've never had a roadmap and you would like to have one, well, this is a great interactive way to make that happen. 
And the third way that I can help you for free is to join our free Facebook group. We have a wonderful Facebook group where you can find yourself an accountability partner, where you can speak freely in a private environment about some of your fears, some of your struggles, and some of your frustrations. And you can be at least in a group with masculine men who are all working towards the same goal. This isn't some random, unmoderated group where everyone is running their mouth. We're very specific about the type of men who join our group. And sometimes it might take a while for you to be accepted into our group, about a week to a week and a half. Please do respond to all the questions in there. And finally, if you feel that you're at a point where you would like to end your behavior faster, you're like, you know what, I've made some progress, I've tried some different things, but I still can't control my behavior permanently, that's one reason. If you feel that you're at a point where you need a system, you actually need something that you can follow step by step that's going to give you predictable results, or if you would like to be around men who have seen the movie before. That means men who have traveled that path up the mountain and have their hands outstretched and are ready to pull you up, men who've actually ended their behavior, then you may be a good fit for one of our group coaching programs. We have two group coaching programs. One is called the Implementation Program and one is called the Intensive Program. And there's a link in the description below this video to schedule a call with one of my Reboot Specialists. Just to be clear, all my Reboot Specialists have recovered, their brains are rewired, they've worked with me for quite a while, and they are the ones who make a decision and find out whether you are qualified for my program or not. If you get into the program, you will have the opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one coaching with me for an entire year for one program and for up to 90 days, including group coaching, in another program. So there's a link to fill out a survey, find out if you're qualified, and if you are, I'd love to speak with you, I'd love to support you on your journey. Have a wonderful day, and I'll speak to you later on in the week.